Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. My name is Saurabh Bansal. So today we are going to solve the problem of the day. The question name is segregate zeros and ones. So let's go on to the, our computer screens and start the question. So in this question, firstly, they have given us an array of only zeros and ones. So what we have to do with this array, we have to segregate all the zeros to the left side and all the ones to the right side of the array. Now let's understand it by example and then we will find the approach of this question. So they have given like, for example, they have given us an array like this 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So we have to segregate the array like this, that the all the zeros come at the left side and all the ones would come at the right side of the array. Now how to do this question? So for this part, we will take pointer 1 and pointer 2. So firstly, I will put the pointer 1 at the leftmost side of the array and pointer 2 at the rightmost side of the array. So now what is going to be the approach? So approach is going to be the very simple approach. So firstly, what is going to happen over here? If pointer 1 is at a 0, so we will increase the pointer 1 to the right side. Okay. Now if the pointer 2 is also at 1, okay, if the, if the pointer 2 is a 1, so then we will decrease the pointer 2 to the left side. Okay. Now if the pointer 2 and pointer 1 are not at 0, pointer, sorry, this is pointer 1. Okay. If the pointer 1 is not at a 0. Okay. So we don't have to increase it. And also the pointer 2 is not at 1. So we don't have to increase this. This means that the both, both the things are, both the numbers are mismatched. So what we have to do, we just, we will just swap these numbers. Okay. After swapping, what is going to happen over here? After swapping, this is going to be 0 and this is going to be 1. Okay. Now this is 0 and then this is 1. Now, same similarly now we have a pointer one the pointer one is at zero so now we will increase the pointer one okay now still the pointer one is at zero so we will increase the pointer one towards here now the pointer two is at also one so now we will decrease the pointer two and if the both are at the same value this means that the array is segregated so the approach is very simple so we have to do something like this so let's understand this approach by one more example let's take one more example let's say zero zero oh okay Let's take at, at 1, 0, 0 and now at one more 0, let's say 1 over here. So in this fine, finally, firstly what we have to do, we have to make two pointers. Okay, we will place the first pointer at the pointer 1 at the start and pointer 2 at the end of the array. Now what we have to do over here is, if the pointer 1 is at 0, no. So pointer 1, if the pointer 1 is not 0, so we don't have to increase the pointer 1. If the pointer 2 is at 1, so now what we have to do? We have to decrease the pointer 2. So this way pointer 2 would be at now a 0 and pointer 1 be, be, would be at 1. If the if these are, this condition happens, what we have to do? We have to swap these values. So I will swap these way 0 and 1. Okay. So now we have swapped these values and after swapping, you can see that pointer 1 is now at 0. So we will increase the pointer 1 and let's, let's name it as P1. And pointer 2 is also at 1, so we will name it as pointer 2. So now what we have to do? Pointer 1 and pointer 2. Okay. Now pointer 1 is at 0, so we will increase the pointer 1 as well. So now the pointer 1 and pointer 2 are at the same value. So now what we have to do? We, would, we don't have to do nothing. Now our array is segregated. Now you can see over here, the triple zeros are at the left side and ones are at the right side. So now what we have to do is we have to write the code for this part. So now the code is going to be very easy. So I firstly, I will make pointer one P1 equals to zero and int P2 at the last of the array that is n minus one. So now I will write while P1 is less than P2, we have to do if ARR of P1 equals to equals to zero, then we have to increase the point P1 pointer else if, else if ARR of P2 array of p2 equals to equals to 1 if it is equals to equals to 1 then we have to decrease the pointer 2 okay decrease the pointer 2 and now if they these conditions doesn't match this means that array p1 pointer is on 1 and p2 pointer is on 0 so in this case what we have to do we have to swap the values for swapping i'm using a k variable so let's go and swap this so array of p1 is like this and now i will put the p2 value in the p1 okay like this and after this array p2 is now going to have the value of k okay like this we have done this thing okay after this let's try to compile it okay so this is giving us correct answer let's try to submit it so while it is submitting 
let's understand the time complexity of this code the time complexity of this code is o of n okay so thank you for watching this video if you like the video you can subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends thank you